Hello everyone, this is a first of three videos on curvilinear motion. In this video I'll talk about curvilinear motion in a parametric sense. Curvilinear motion is the motion of a particle that is not directed in a straight line, that can be along some unpredictable path that is highly complex compared to a straight line. Dealing with this in a parametric way, which is often uh, the most convenient if we are able to deal with it in this way, uh, our y coordinate or our y di uh, displacement from the x-axis is given as a function of time and also our x-coordinate or our dis distance from the y-axis is also given as a function of time. Um, and given these we want to be able to find the speed and the acceleration. Well, velocity is the first derivative of displacement with respect to time. So the velocity in the y direction, y dot, is equal to f prime of t, i.e. the first derivative of this expression with respect to time. And likewise with the x, the, the speed in the x direction, x dot, is equal to f prime of t. Um, and again, if we want to find the acceleration, we just do this whole process again. So we get y double dot is equal to f double prime of t, and likewise for the x. But often we're asked to find the speed of this particle, or the magnitude of the acceleration. Uh, and to do this, uh, we end up using Pythagoras' law. Um, and so we have our velocity in the y direction, if you like and our velocity in, in the x direction, and we want to find this magnitude here on our, on our uh, this diagram here. This is going to be a right angle triangle, like this is y dot, this is x dot, and so this is our what we call speed, which is the modulus of v. And so from that we can say that the modulus of v, or our speed of the particle, is equal to the square root of y dot plus x dot both of these squared, obviously, using Pythagoras' law. So now we can, given our expression for displacement in the y direction and the x direction, uh, we can differentiate this, substitute our value of time in to find our vertical and our horizontal components of velocity at a certain time value, and then we use Pythagoras' law to find the speed or the modulus of that. And we can do exactly the same thing again with uh, the Acceleration, we replace this with double dot, so if I do this diagram down here, we have a y double dot, x double dot, and on here we have the modulus of the acceleration. So there we can see that modulus of acceleration then, in a very similar way, is y double dot squared plus x double dot squared. Okay, so I thought the easiest way to now go and illustrate this would be with a little bit of a worked example. So. We're given that y is equal to 3t squared minus 2t. I'm also given that x is equal to 2t minus 4. And we want to find the speed at speed v when t is equal to 1. Okay, so to get the speed, we need to differentiate each of these uh, and then apply our Pyth Pythagorean law. So y dot is equal to the first derivative of this with respect to time, d by dt of 3t squared minus 2t. And x dot is equal to the first derivative with respect to time, d by dt of 2t minus 4. Okay, and this ends up being then 6t minus 2 and x dot is equal to 2. Okay, so now if we substitute our value of t into here, we end up with y dot when t is equal to 1 is equal to 6 times by 1 minus 2. And as the speed is not a function of velocity, we have a constant velocity in the x direction, uh, x dot is just equal to 2. And so that we have y dot is equal to 6 minus 2, which is 4, and x dot equal to 2. So if we want to find the speed when v equals 1, modulus of v when t is equal to 1 is equal to the square root of these things squared, of 4 squared plus 2 squared, it's the square root of 20, which is 2 root 5. So now we have our speed. Uh, of the particle at times t equals 1. We could do a very similar thing again with the acceleration. So let's now find uh, the 
acceleration when uh, t is equal sorry t is equal to 4 well acceleration it means to take the double derivative or the first derivative of the velocity so we get y double dot is equal to d by dt of the y expression which was 6t minus 2 6t minus 2 and then x double dot is the derivative of our speed expression which was just 2 so we end up with y double dot being uh, the derivative of this which is just 6 and x double dot being 0 because if we differentiate a constant we end up with 0 so we can see that we have no acceleration in the x direction but we have a constant acceleration of 6 in the y direction and so magnitude of the acceleration will just be the square root of 6 squared which is just 6 so this is an example of how you can use parametric system to analyze curved linear motion Thank you for watching the video. See you next time.